everybody. So for those of you tuning in not too long ago for the Horde campaign, I released an extra video which went over uh, obtaining outposts within the Alliance territories of uh, Sormsung, Dressfar, and Tiragard Sound. Uh, basically, you had to purchase some items from the reputation vendor here in Zul Bazaar, uh, main factor at the port of Bazaar of Lore. Um, after that, you had to do a mission, and uh, once you have completed the mission, you turn into quests. Once you've turned into quests, you uh, adventure out, basically you'll grab uh, a specific location or a specific spot in one of those three territories, two of them being in Guard Sound, two of them being in Dressfar, and three being in Stormsong. However, there's now a part two to this that I've just found out. There was more missions to do once you completed the mission. Um, basically, the mission was you send out your troops to these specific outposts. They help your outposts gather you a specific ability uh, pertaining to that outpost. And now you're able to upgrade your outposts. But like I said, there was two in one zone, two in another zone, and three in the last zone. Only five of the outposts of the seven are going to get an upgrade. So there's only five missions to actually look for, and there's only and you're going to get them right away. And um, you're only going to get uh, five up outpost upgrades. Two of them in Hero Guard, two of them in Dressfar, and one in Stormsong. Without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and bring you guys to the location that I currently am at in Dressfar. We are currently at uh, doing the Wicker Magic Quest over here at uh, around Barrow Knoll Cemetery and basically we are at uh, Swiftwind Post so we're gonna go ahead and turn in this quest I have no clue what any of the upgrades are gonna be we complete the quest so I just found out what the upgrade is and basically you are given two buffs whenever you visit this outpost uh, they last for 30 minutes one is called Ulfar's Gift, which gives you stamina increased by 7%. And the other one is Wicker's Skin, which increases armor by 7%. And uh, that's not too bad, but I do know there's some other outposts out there with better upgrades. So let's go ahead and get to them. The next one is, uh, the next quest is actually going to be called Spare Parts. This one is in Tiragard Sound, and it is Stonefist Watch. Now, again... Like the other one, I don't know what the outpost upgrade is going to be. I wish it actually upgraded the outpost. Oh, Shredmaster MK1. That's actually oh, it's a, sh it's a, it's a scrapper. So you can now scrap uh, gear and items in uh, Alliance territory. I use it. That's fucking useless as fuck. What's up with these outposts, fam? They're so useless. I wish they got like actual buildings and upgrades to it. That would have been cool. But let's go ahead and adventure on into the next one. Outpost number three, quest number three, the Wicker Totem. Uh, this one, we're back in Dressfar. Uh, we are at uh, basically Mudfisher Cove. Let's go ahead and turn in this. And I believe I heard this one was actually pretty cool and unique. It's not really a buff of any type of sort. But uh, basically, it's pretty damn cool. You get this little Wicker Totem here that gets spawned. And if you click on it, it actually gives you a cosmetic appearance of some sort. And, oh, so it's actual wickers. So uh, basically, you get this little. Oh, that is so freaking cool. Um, it lasts for about 27 minutes. Oh no, not that one. Sorry, it lasts for 30 minutes. Uh, wicker form, uh, disguised as a wicker man. That's actually really, really cool. And what sucks about it though is when you do mount, you revert to your original form. However, you still have the buff. So if you do dismount, you go back to the wicker man. Sweet. So we've arrived at the next location. Uh, the quest is Wolves for the Den. And we're at Wolf's Den. I heard this is the stupidest quest of all times. You get nothing out of it. Except for the fact you get puppies and wolves running around at your camp, as you can see here. They weren't there before. Now you get puppies and wolves running around your camp that was even an upgrade thus far Netten, Etten, and I heard this is the coolest one which is why I saved it for last so so far we've got wolves appearing at a den we've got a cool little wicker outfit transmoggy thing that we get to go ahead and use for 30 minutes we get two buffs from one location and we also get to the ability to scrap at another location now for the fifth one Netten, Etten we're going to turn in this class and as you can already see, get the fucking right this yeti thing. 
Wait, how? Wait, I thought. Wait, oh, we could control. Oh my god. So we get it for a minute. Riding it inside Donk's hand. Donk is extremely fast mount, but he cannot be stopped. Well, I mean that's fine with me. So we basically get him for a full minute to go anywhere we want. All you have to do is, if you really want to cancel it, just 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 cancel it, fam. Let's see if we can make it all the way to the uh, up here. We got 20, 25 seconds to get up there. Oh my gosh, this is this is definitely the best one by far. We got 15 seconds to get there. Oh my gosh, we actually made it. We actually, so you can make it anywhere in this zone within a minute on this guy for sure, easily, easily. Well, I mean, some locations are harder than others, but look at this, look at this, perfect timing too. All the way to the flight path, my G. Well, you fucking asshole. Why did he throw me? <laughs> well then, that's it pretty much for the outpost updates. Thank you all very much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. Catch you guys around. Peace.